you both want to come at me at once, I'll take you both down. Yeah, we're going to get into some some dumb and dumber stuff. Lavaca. Who? Lavaca. Who? And I was immediately assaulted by him. Loser, loser, self abuser. <laughs> Two 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 three 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 four four four. Guacamole. Heather Ray TV. Oh yeah. Guacamole. And it's like a battery. It goes from positive down to negative, and then from positive down to negative in this direction. I'm pissed off. I'm pissed off. I'm just concerned. Wait. I'm confused. What's going on here? They're 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 sending emails. Come on, Luna. You can do better than that, man. Maybe wizards. You guys should be looking for those. Reasonable, articulate. To articulable suspicion. Picking out the type of condoms you would like to use. Picking out the tampons they decide to use. I live here! And I'm here for some psychiatric help. Yada 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 yada. Fake Mike Real News. Do this, do that. Keys out. You guys don't leave us a lot of options, you know? Like when they ask you guys to leave, they don't know what else you expect from us, you know? Well, Hi and welcome back to the channel where we expose frauditors, Karens and sovereign citizens. If you're new here, please like and subscribe. You will find tons of content to enjoy. And if you haven't already, please sign the petition to stop Joseph Amico from committing crimes on YouTube. It is 100% free, no need to donate. The link will be in the description. Thank you. In today's video, Asamo and Heather Ray TV are harassing everybody at the post office as usual and then they get kicked out. So that's the good news. Enjoy the video. Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. All right, let's see how it goes. Sorry. Yes. Yes, we are. <laughs> I read the rules. I can show you the rules. Can you can you get for news purposes? Here we go. <laughs> what was that creepy laughter? It looks like he's about to kidnap her. I don't know why she's associating herself with him. It's not worth it. Go do your YouTube channel on your own. This guy's gonna kidnap you at any moment now. Hi, are you the supervisor? How can I help you? Because you're not supposed to record in the federal facility. So how can I help you? Okay, so, slow down. Can you first help us by getting us the posters? Okay, so let me explain. Please. <laughs> Can, can you get the 911 for cameras? You, you We're trying to explain to you. We're trying to explain to you, but you're cutting me off. Ma'am. Ma'am. No. Ma'am. The rules say that we can record for news purposes. You're going. You're going the wrong. I just told you for news purposes. You are. You're calling the police for no reason. Ma'am, so you're not. We're not trying. You're the one speaking to us. <laughs> we're not speaking to you. Right. Ma'am, look at the rules. Poster seven. You should know this. It's on the wall. And let me tell you what else I know. We are not allowed to speak to the news. Why so are you speaking? Why are you speaking? Why are you speaking to us? I need you guys. The news is allowed to come here. It's on the wall. It's on the wall. It's poster seven. Are you kidding me? Look, it's right here on the wall. It's right here. Poster seven. Photographs for news purposes may be taken in entrances, lobbies, foyers, corridors, or auditoriums when used for public meetings. Yup, it's written right there. And it says authorized personnel can tell you to stop at any moment. It's like, why don't they read the whole thing? Except we're prohibited. It's not prohibited. Yep. And if they refuse, can we get back up? We, oh, there's more coming. Okay. Well, we can we can nicely refuse. I'm trying to explain to her. We're working on for news purposes, and the rules are on the wall. She doesn't want to look. She doesn't want to listen. I can I can nicely show you, sir. The rules are on the wall. We're not interfering. 
would you mind just doing this sure. outside with me so we don't sure. interrupt this part of it? Yeah, we don't. We we would never yeah. interfere with with the job. We're okay. working on a video about the post office. They said that they can talk to us. We weren't trying to talk to them. We were just filming and okay. uh, asking people so, about. We're asking people about their experience here. And now he's straight up lying, just as usual. He wasn't asking anybody about their experience at the post office. You were just standing there like an idiot and recording the employee. So stop lying. At the post office, it says right here, sir, oh. on poster seven, this is the rules and regulations uh, on how to be behave yourself in the, in the post office. And there's a section for photographs. So it says photographs for news purposes may be taken in entrances, lobbies, foyers, corridors, or auditoriums. That includes all of this, unless it's a prohibited area. You know, so we're going outside. So, unless it's a prohibited area, then we can't. But for news purposes, we can because this is a uh, this is the federal post office. Uh, it's not a private place, and uh, we have we have all our legal right to exercise our First Amendment as long as we're not interfering with the business. They asked you guys to leave. Though. No, yeah, but they you don't. Just don't leave me a lot of leeway. I I understand. I I, I understand, but they they they're being rude about it, and we they don't honestly, sir. We don't want to be rude about anything here, but they um. I want you to purchase a stamp. Not well. only not only so we want. My yeah, not only we want to conduct business, but sir, they don't have that privilege of telling us to to leave because they have. Uh, this is not a private place. This and we're not interfering. And we're at work. This is our job. They're actually interfering with our, um, with our uh, journey. Honestly, Asamo, it's very hard to take you seriously when every two words out of your mouth is ah. This investigation. We're working together, and we're not bothering anyone, sir. So there's no reason that the police should be here. You know. Well, they're here because because they called. Because they they, they made a 911 call. That's where we're I here. know. We were telling her because not to. Regardless of what your opinion is of whether that, whether we should be here or not. I know. They, it's their fault they because they call. They, I understand. They call 911. Usually how this works is a postal marshal shows up. Who are you? Oh, I, I was he was here. He saw yeah, it. I saw the whole thing. But usually they call the postal marshal because they're the, the feds. They did it. They called us. We're supposed to call them post I know uh, the, the police doesn't have I mean with all due respect <laughs> the police doesn't have or, or, unless there's like an immediate crime going on the police doesn't doesn't have authority in this We're supposed to take this higher on the federal level and then, and then the feds here we are and then the feds <laughs> but he doesn't it's not his fault because they call yeah, 911 they that's yeah, no, yeah. they don't they're, they're not are you you with them or no no, no, no we don't know him but I'm, I'm trying to like help you. But he, because, hey, he agrees. You know, uh, I, my, my family actually got a start in Arkansas. Like, uh, I'm related to Tom Sarvente. Oh boy, we're seeing a frauditor in the making. Next thing you know, this guy is going to take his cell phone and start harassing everybody. This guy invented Arkansas. Down in Arkansas. Uh, way back. So Tom Sarvente is... With all due respect, I don't, I, I'm not here for history lesson. Okay. Seriously, nobody gives a shit about your fake history lessons. Just go back home and don't become a frauditor. We have way too many of those as it is. I'm here for these two, <laughs> yeah. so you're free to do whatever it is you want right. to do, but I'm here talking to these two, okay? It's supposed to be on a federal level. Okay, I appreciate your input. Thank you. How's it going, okay. ma'am? Are you a supervisor? No. Uh, well, you already everything to him. Uh, I'm sure he's probably going back. Um... They don't want us filming here, but we're working on a news story about the post office. We looked at the rules uh, before we even got here. They're on the wall. We, we looked at the rules. And yes, we know that there's a lot of people that go in the post office doing uh, videos and stuff, but we're not disrespecting anyone and we're not interfering with the business. No, they're interfering with our, uh, our job because we're, we're not here loitering, we're here working. And they don't understand that that the rules specifically say that uh, for news purposes, we we can uh, we can take videos in the foyers, in the corridors, in the lobby area, or or auditoriums, except we're prohibited by signs or or um, uh, 
uh, you know. This officer seems so bored with this conversation. Honestly, even Aselmo's boring himself. He's losing his train of thought. Just move on with your day, buddy. You got your footage. Just move on. One eternity later. Much later. Because you guys um, swore to protect the Constitution when you became police officers. Okay, I'm gonna go talk to him. See All right, find out. thanks. Just imagine for one second, if I didn't fast forward that speech, you guys would have been gone. You would have changed channel by now. Yeah. You guys don't leave us a lot of options, you know? Like when they ask you guys to leave, they don't know what else you expect from us, you know? Well, I, I can tell you, sir. Uh, with all the respect, I, I expect for you to tell, inform them. I don't know if you already did, because I see that you're leaving, but... No, we're not leaving. I'm just I'm trying to get out of the business so they can keep doing what they're doing, and I was going to make a phone call. Okay. Well, sir, I mean, I, with all the respect, you're a police officer. You should be able to handle this, this situation yourself. This is something that my daughter knows, you know? This is just... This is the basics. You said that. You said the post office police should be well well yeah but but you're the ones that are here right now and you're the one, law enforcers that are exactly she just called you out on your nonsense first you're saying that they don't have jurisdiction and now you're saying they don't need to call anybody else they should be able to handle it well what is it make up your mind everybody go to heather ray tv heather ray tv link on the description make sure you go check her out she's doing audits out here in arizona Cops are here, United States Post Office. For nothing but Mesa cops are kind of stupid. <laughs> They're turning this into a whole investigation. Seriously? Bro, come on. Making us be here longer than we need to be. <laughs> we would have been gone already. I know, right, like 30 minutes ago. <laughs> Things are in place. Okay. Um, we may or may not be putting some some signage out later restricting those different locations where they, they want you to film or where they can't film. We've but heard this a thousand times. I understand you're trying to. <laughs> I, I just I'm not, I don't want to have a debate with you. Just want to get the per uh, the lady's name that called the police. The yeah. How, how about a business card? Sure. Is sure. That sufficient. Sure. Okay. Do you have any other questions? Um. No. No. Oh yes. Actually, I do. What's the Third Amendment? You don't have to tell me the whole thing. Just briefly. Let me get your business card. Hold on. <laughs> do you know the Third Amendment? No? What about you? Right. Do you know the third do you know the third amendment? How you guys doing today? We're good. How about you? Good. I'm doing great, thank you. Alright. Do you know the third amendment? You don't have to tell me the whole do thing. I know it by heart? No, not the whole thing, but just do you know what it's about? Uh, the third amendment. Yes. Uh, off the top of my head, no. No? We don't deal with the third amendment as much as we do like the fourth and the others that are more more relative to police work, but yeah. Okay, and you're a sergeant, right? Okay. We need you to please sir. And like the sergeant said, they don't deal with the Third Amendment because it's not that relevant to police work at the moment. And it hasn't been in decades. Anyways, guys, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. It really helps the channel. And we'll see you on the next video. Crazy. So here's my number. And hey, call me, baby. I'm absolutely serious. I've never ever heard anything like that in my life. Is everybody in here? Does anybody want to be filmed yeah, for this guy's uh, release on this press property. thing, whatever he's doing? Does anybody here, with a show of hands, want to be on this guy's video? Filming with watching guys having coffee. I want to see if you respect my rights to record in public. You make no sense right now. How? Because there's no story here. Gods can't be arrested, guys. Listen, listen. Face for me. Oh my god. Sir, if you touch me with that, if you touch me with that, bro. Um, my nationality is Mormish. Come get it. Call the cops. Call Come the cops. Can you call the cops? Come get it. Can you call the cops? I'm asking. It's right here. Come get it. Now ask you a bunch of articulate it. Articulate it. Okay? 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 Articulate it. Articulated. You have a you have a, a coffee? You're coming with me. Oh, you do not get away with calling me an ass. What are you talking about? Oh, 
man. I don't know how to read, bro. I don't know how to read. I don't care, man. I thought y'all was going to shoot me down. So I said, my wife, yo, go open the door real quick. Why the whisk? It's a little bit embarrassing, but I'm uh, actually the reincarnation of L. Ron Hubbard. All right. Y'all have a good day. I live here.